I'm here again. My name is AJ Rosakade, but you know you can call me EJ. Yes, I'm here again with tips from every sphere of life. How are you doing? How has it been? Hmm. If you're watching me from Nigeria, for example, how has the lockdown been extended for another two weeks? How are you coping? Hmm? I don't know how you're coping, but I really hope that you're coping fine. And um, today, I just want to take your mind off the lockdown a little bit right and just start to think start to use this time to analyze to think you know about you about how you are going to get back into the marketplace after all of this because in case you do not know life is not going to be the same again after corona or post corona okay life is going to be totally different so how are you beginning to think like what am i going to do after now how am i going to fit into the market am i am i am i really going to be relevant if i continue the way i am right now or do i need to upgrade my skill do i need to pick up a new skill do i need to like totally change direction right now this is the time for you to think of all of that but i just want to say as you think of that think of these three things that i'm going to share with you three things that um, makes for top executive or you could say three things that make people at the top stand out and these are these three things number one is value you see value attracts where there is value then the people follow crowd follow you know people are looking for value everywhere so begin to think in your field in your sphere in your corner in your expertise how can you begin to add more value than you're already adding okay start to think of that and because that is something that's going to reposition you for post covid so what value are you going to be adding or what more value are you going to be adding okay that is number one number two is the god factor i don't know if you believe in god but i do believe in god and i know that even though he might not be the one that caused this pandemic he is still in control the fact that you and i are still here today he is still in control so never forget that okay see the talk for oh if he's in control why did he allow all of this happen that's a talk for another day but if you know god then i plead with you now is not the time to be oh why where why did god allow this that's now now is not the time now is the time to actually push it and press it and say god what exactly is going on what is my own part in all of this what am i supposed to do what, what do you need me to do for my community, for my family, for the people around me? How am I supposed to be of help now? This is the time to lean into God, to hear, to ask for direction so that he can tell you what to do to reposition, all right? And then number three is the relationship. Now that you've been at home for two weeks, now going to the third week and it's going to extend to four weeks. How are you garnering? How are you working on the relationships in your life? How are you sieving it out? How are you uh, removing the people or like sieving out the people that are not adding any value to you and taking on more people that are adding value to you? I put it to you that, see, you, this, this is a time for you to begin to reposition your mindset. This is the time for you to begin to listen to people that will add value to your life, okay? Okay, so what am I saying? Three things that I think you should begin to think about and begin to work on yourself with. Number one is value. What value are you bringing to the table? Number two is the God factor. Do not, I repeat, do not allow God out of your matter. Please cling to him at this time. And number three is relationship. Be mindful, be intentional about the sort of relationships that you are keeping this season. <laughs> because after all of this is done, that's when we really know, yeah, okay? Because then if you don't position yourself well, people will might just live in the corner. Now is the time to cultivate some relationship, to begin to reconnect to some people and disconnect from some, from some people, okay? I really do hope that these three tips have been helpful for you, okay? Till I come your way again next week. Remember, I am EJ and I'm signing out. Bye.